Hi everyone. Welcome to Embedded 369. In today's video, we will see how non-volatile storage will work in ESP32. So, the non-volatile storage is one of the beautiful uh, feature of ESP32. Using this non-volatile storage libraries and APIs, we can really do cool stuff like storing ID and password if you want to store some data like permanently. So, you can use this library. Uh, so, you can always refer this website like for the more details of, about how it works. So, now I'll just show you the demo how the non volatile storage will work in ESP32. Go to file, create a new project give some random name because we are going to use the inbuilt so first i will show you how we can store the integers then i will go move into the how to how we can store the string so they already given the example for the integer i just build the project So the project has built successfully. Now we will look at the functions what they have what they have given to us. So first the include files they include they have included the nvs slash library nvs library and they are initializing the nvs flash using this init function. Then they are checking for the error. If there is a error then it will like yeah whether it is initialized properly or not they are checking for the error and they are using the handler for reading and writing so so they are performing this operation to make sure like there is no any error then they are going to this function so like they define this integer variable actually uh, like initially they are trying to read the uh, variable like see in nvsc like we have to like uh, like in here whatever the name you are giving so it will just look for that particular location and read the data so whatever the data with this restart counter is holding it will print it here and they are trying to uh, here they are updating the value and they are writing it again here. So they are updating the value here. So this uh, NVS set i32, this particular API will uh, is used to write the uh, variable. So if you look at the above variable, it is get. So get is to get the data. That is to write the data. So after performing all these operations, so uh, that's it, it will be updated and again uh, the ESP32 will restart. Uh, like after some important after 10 seconds, it will restart it. We can check check the updates. So whenever you work in ESP32, you have to always uh, check this ESP, whether the ESP is okay or not, whether it is throwing any error or not. So in my earlier days when I used to work in ESP32, I used to think that why they are giving this, this these things are unnecessary. I used to feel like these things are unnecessary. We can directly like put the function, we can get the things done. Why? Then I faced a lot of issues like ESP will crash and your project will crash. You will have a really bad day. So it is always good to check the errors before like you initialize something. So in that manner, like your project will be stable. So now let's upload this code and check what is the result we are getting. So I already restarted, then the earlier value was 0, then now it was updated to 1. So, like the seconds are counting, let's see, it was earlier 1. So, now it is increased to 2. So, it is stored in permanently. So, like after the restarting, the value, the restart counter will increase to 3. So, this is all about the integer actually. Now, let's look into like strings, let's store some strings, how it will be. So for that I already made the code to go to my github. 
go to non volatile storage go to strings just copy paste it here build it first i just made a separate functions for reading also the writing there's nothing like it's similar to the previously what we have done similar function only but here for uh, strings we use this strings uh, get strings to read the string we use get string function and uh, to write that we use set string to write the data that is only difference and you have, you have to always check for the error actually so that is very important thing you have to always check for the error then you have to perform your operations so i'm just uh, so I, i just took two characters name and place i'm trying to write my name and my place let's see whether i'm able to get these things there is no problem let's upload it Yes, I'm getting my name and uh, the place. One thing you have to keep in your mind that when you write, so in which name you are writing it, the same uh, name, or the same string you have to use it while you are reading the data actually. So if I use some some other name, then I cannot read the data. Let's say I'm using the uh, um, say Kannan. Let's see whether I'm able to read the data or not. Let's check it. the string the string one is showing some uh, some kind of uh, uh, this is some this is not showing the proper data actually so reason being like because uh, i am writing a kannan so which is not at all uh, like i didn't initialize any data for this thing that's why uh, it is showing as some random uh, some random data actually so you have to always uh, like keep it in your mind that So whatever the name you are using when you are writing it same name you have to use for reading also then only it will work yeah we are getting the data That's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. See you in next tutorial. Have a nice day.